Tonight, the number of Texas National Guard troops on our border continues to grow. They are already out on the job assisting Border Patrol agents. The feds are happy they're here, but what do our local officers think about the deployment? Trayson Bragg went looking for answers. Trayson, what did you find out? Oscar, Christine, the Los Indios police chief says having the extra boots on the ground at the border will be, uh, will be an important asset in keeping his community safe. A tiny slice of heaven is what Angel Urbina says he discovered when he moved to Los Indios in the 1940s. After decades in the community, he's now become one of its elders. He tells us much has changed over time. When we bought it, there was no pavement, pure pure tierra. Ha cambiado bastante. Ha estado cambiando entre más y más y más. Now another change is set to hit his border city. The National Guard is expected any day. Los Indios Police Chief Jose De La Rosa tells us the troops will be an asset to his young department. We understand that they can't do any arrests or they can't do anything else, just reporting and intelligence to the border patrol. But from there, it will go to the local agencies that need the help. De La Rosa says his police department was founded two years ago. The small department is made up of two full-time and eight part-time officers. Those officers service a large area. We are the only city from Bronzeville all the way to Santa Maria in Cameron County uh, that has a police department. About 40% of our calls is assisting other communities here around us. De La Rosa adds seeing the troops at the border will send a clear message. The bad people will think to twice before crossing into this area. De La Rosa tells us his department is set to meet with Border Patrol next week to learn if they can be of assistance in border security as well. They also hope to learn when National Guard troops will reach Los Indios in that meeting. We also reached out to the Los Indios Mayor Rick Cavazos. In the past, he's been very vocal about wanting to see a completed border wall in Los Indios. Cavazo says he would still like to see the gaps in the current border fence closed as soon as possible. He adds National Guard troops on the border will be a positive and welcome change for his city until the gaps in the fence are closed. In the studio, Trace Bragg, Channel 5 News at 10.